Rules needed for EV battery disposal to avoid major fires. So let's see, we've had a, a fire on a car transporting ship, just EVs bursting into flames, crashing, bursting into flames, bursting into flames charging, bursting into flames in water, bursting into flames because it's too hot in Spain, bursting into flames because there's short circuits. Another major fire at an Auckland recycling facility has renewed concerns about the regulatory vacuum surrounding the end of life management of lithium ion batteries in New Zealand. Insurance professionals, recyclers and importers are warning that as the use of EV batteries increases, so too does the potential for fire and liability incidents. National oversight is needed according to the Imported Motor Vehicles Industry Association. It is urging the government to implement a national approach to the reuse and recycling of EV batteries. So everybody tells us that you can recycle these EV batteries, but they're a danger. They're a danger when they're on the road and now they're a danger when they're being recycled, which we all know anyway. A recent report from the group outlined shortcomings in current practices and the absence of nationally recognised safety guidelines, a rising risk of battery-related fires. VIA Chief Executive Greg Epps said, we're putting lithium batteries into the community at scale, but we don't have a clear plan for what happens when they reach the end of their life. The VIA report led by technical head Malcolm Yortson described a fragmented operating environment. Businesses that repurpose EV batteries often rely on international standards. However, these may not be tailored to New Zealand specific conditions and may also lack formal regulatory support. Various other factors such as a range of types of EV battery have complicated risk assessment for insurance. Some providers have already reduced or removed coverage for reused battery systems in residential and commercial installations. Recently released AMI insurance data showed a 17% year-on-year increase in lithium-ion battery-related fire claims. More than one half of these claims involved devices that were not actively in use. That suggests a need for increased safety awareness and risk mitigation. Moreover, battery fire claims span multiple categories, including motors, 27%, contents 25%, home 23% and commercial 23%. Marine related incidents accounted for only a small percentage of claims. Well, now they're starting to build electric ships, watch them go up too. Countermeasures. VIA has outlined a three-pronged approach to address the growing concerns. First, implement safety standards and registry system a national framework for safe handling of EV batteries and a central registry to track battery movement and ownership are needed. Very, very true. Somebody gets a second-hand battery and replaces it, what do they do with the old one? Where does it go? Secondly, it is important to define end-of-life ownership, i.e. who is responsible for a battery once it is no longer in use. That would help clarify accountability and reduce legal ambiguity. Very, that's very true too. Thirdly, a support infrastructure is needed that requires funding for safe storage facilities. How can there be safe storage facilities for, for used batteries? Handling technologies and certified training programs. Potentially, this could be facilitated by the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Authority. Disposal practices under scrutiny. Improper battery disposal has also led to an increase in waste collection vehicle fires. Wayne Tippett, AMI's Executive General Manager of Claims, recommended using designated collection facilities available at hardware retailers. Oh well, at hardware retailers, their insurance is going to go up, isn't it? And e-waste sites across the country. Batteries and battery-powered devices must not be binned with household waste. There are already collection facilities around the country for used batteries, including at most Mitre 10 and Bunnings Warehouse stores. There are others at e-waste services or recycling services for electronics. It's, it's just everything. At this moment in time, they say EVs are about 20%. They say the real uptake is 11%. And it's just going to get worse and worse. The more EVs we get on the road, the more EVs we get on the road, the older they are, the more trouble we'll have. Thanks for watching.
see you in the next video. Bye-bye.